buying, selling, investing, renovating. When it comes to real estate, it's all about successful transitions. Making the decision in buying or selling a property can be a really exciting time. However, there are some areas to consider that can affect a property for sale. Basically, a seller's due diligence is just as important as a buyer's. As a seller, it's important to be aware of any would-be concerns and having these areas fixed and your home properly inspected before even launching to the market is imperative. What this does is it gives your potential buyers peace of mind and yourself, of course, before entering into any contract negotiations. Of course, when it comes to building and pest inspections, there are some key areas to have thoroughly checked to ensure the property passes and to ease stress later on down the track as well. So Mark, what are your top five areas of concern when inspecting a property? Well firstly Kathleen, rotting timber would be the first and including timbers in contact with the ground. Uh, a great example of this would be around a deck like this. These can also lead to termite issues though, but worse, they could contribute to an accident down the track. Next Kathleen, we'd be looking at the plumbing fittings. Make sure they're in good working order, make sure there's no leaks, or any concealed moisture that could be inside the walls, as this could be a serious problem. Also on the checklist will be the windows and doors. We'll be making sure that they're operational and fitting properly. On the outside, we're going to look to see if there are even gaps around them. There's no loose mortar or cracks in the brickwork, as this could be an indication of foundation problems. So lastly, Mark, when it comes to the pool fencing regulations, is this an important part of your inspections? It definitely is, Kathleen, and for the reason we've got new pool fencing legislation. So you need to be looking for a building and pest inspection company that is qualified to do pool inspections. They need to be looking at both the pool and the fence. Things like the pool fence height, the gaps between the posts, and a simple thing like just making sure the gate latches properly. So when it comes to buying and selling, my biggest tips for both buyer and seller is to be prepared and do your homework in advance. Other than that, I wish you all the best of luck with all of your successful transitions.